everyone thank you for being here and this video will be about how you can make a carpet a car carpet this is the old carpet i haven't removed it yes i'm going to show you how the old one is it's bigger one right there i just put a mark in there that part is too big so i will cut in a new one and i will cut in the right side and you will see everything i will use a cut pile carpet and i will make the back piece one piece then the rest will be uh like original this is a porsche and this car is not that it's not original it's like a kit but it costs a lot of money and you can see right there what kind of porsche it is all these are the old part and like i say i remove it already i have to clean that floor I have to sand it to remove the old padding, the old, uh, all that dash that you can see on there. And this is a process. Uh, first you have to clean it, then you have to see where do you going to add padding. And the last part that you will put them on there will be the carpet. This is the roll of carpet, like I say, it's a cut pile. This is the padding, it's a good quality padding. And when you make a carpet, you have to remember to put padding on it because that way it's like a heat shield prevent the hotter from outside to come into inside and I will do all this video on English uh, my English is not that uh, fluent but I am trying my best just to give you an idea as you can see right there I am cleaning the old padding I am removing that old stuff some people leave the old stuff in there and just put the carpet on top on it no, I don't, I don't like to work in that way. Sometimes there is like an exception where do I use the same pattern, the old one, and I just put the carpet on top. But on this occasion, I will remove everything and I will sand it most what I can uh, to start putting the uh, new insulation and then, on, then the carpet. The tool that I'm using to clean that floor is a, a air angle grinder. If you don't have something like this, uh, you have to do it by hand. You have to have like a wire brush and to clean everything by hand. Sure, for sure that will take you more time, but uh, you don't have no choice in case if you don't have a power tool. Then I blow everything you can see, I unclean it, all that thing. And I will do the same thing on the other side. And you can see it right there. Best what you can. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, like I say. And this is the carpet. I had the carpet right there. I will use the same carpet to cut the new one. Uh, when you can use the same carpet to cut the new one? Well, when you see the carpet is in uh, good condition, in case if it, there are some uh, pieces that are too short or too long, make sure to correct before you start cutting the new one. Because just an example, if, it, that new p if it, the old piece is too short and you cut the new one based uh, according to the old one, the new piece will be short too. So make sure to correct any part that you see it is not fitting right. Even though if you see it fitting right when you cut the new one, make sure to go put them on the, on, the, on the plate where you go and make sure to it's fitting right. That way you are 100% sure that everything that you're doing is going to fit uh, perfect on the car. And I am cutting the old one. You see I put some mark on it. This is a big piece that I just uh, marking. And I would say this is the hardest piece of this car because the shape that it has even though the carpet is a good carpet, there is not a problem that the that, uh, that when you glue the carpet, you try to unglue it, will it uh, hard to unglue it? No, no. You can uh, put glue and then you can unglue this carpet uh, perfectly. Make sure to cut the biggest piece first. Always, always make sure to cut the, and make sure the carpet is running in the same way because some carpet, when you are, uh, cutting are running in a certain way if you run it in a different way it will uh, wear so you don't want that to happen to the carpet even though the seat will be on top but make sure to run it on the same way 
so I got the uh, biggest piece already I'm going to start cutting and this piece are for the back see I'm cutting everything I am cutting exactly on top of the line make sure you see that you have to be so sharp before you st uh, uh, start cutting carpet especially if you never have cut, uh, cut a carpet you might get blister because the carpet is thick so I got the first one already and I will cut the other one see I put some mark in there they are very important those mark because you will uh, uh, place the carpet basis on those mark the car had those mark too that way when you put them on the carpet on the car that won't be like crooky or sideways no see I got the big roll of carpet then I am putting all those pieces in there so I got this already and I will cut all the rest like you see me cutting this this will go right here like I say this is the biggest piece and this will uh, is the hardest one I have to put a band in all around that carpet and I'm going to cut all those pieces same thing like I did with those big ones put them on top trace it all around then cut it then if you have to take it to the sewing machine I will uh, take it but I will let you know the process you see I draw all those pieces already now I just have to start cutting and I cut them already so the padding that I will use is this one this is a good quality padding for a uh, car very important to put them on some part of this car uh, it go with banding so no then you don't have to put banding on the carpet but most of them have padding on it you can put the padding on the carpet or you can put the padding on the middle of the car either way you prefer I prefer putting on, on right here and the, the car and you will see me uh, sometime you will see me sometime or even I will uh, put the padding some, uh, on some pieces of this carpet you will see uh, you will uh, you have to see whatever it is easier for you but at the same time it's the best the best for the customer the best for the car see I trace in those pieces of padding now I will cut it and that padding is hard to cut it it is hard okay I will use this heat shield for this uh, car the customer one I use this heat shield and this is a good uh, he chill is like dynamite and he want this part all right here I only would put this kind of insulation on the back and maybe I will use some pieces on the front but he want this kind of insulation on there and this will take time so you can buy this online it has glue on one side only and I will put glue right here just a little bit just to hold it it's not necessary to put a lot of glue because one piece has glue already that insulation has glue I, and I just added a little bit right here a little bit I am using a glue pad that I uh, work with, uh, with air if you don't have a glue pad uh, the glue pad is so cheaper you can buy it on Home Depot, Lowe's and in the United States and other place I don't have no idea where you can buy it but are cheaper are not necessary to buy a fancy uh, glue pad for uh, glue no so and I start putting a, a little by little you see and all this piece I have to put this this is a time consuming
and I am cutting with a uh, utility knife and making sure it uh, well because I don't want any bump on this area, nothing at all. I want this area flat as possible because the carpet will be on top, nothing about padding on top, nothing at all. And I am using a roll, just making sure to eliminate any wrinkle in case if they have. And I will use the same thing right here. And we'll get dark. But I will put some line that way you can see it. This card have a convertible tab. I remove the convertible tab. And I will do the same. There are a lot of places where you can buy this uh, kind of di uh, a heat shield online. And there are a good quality of heat shield too. All depend what brand you want. And that's it. The brand uh, mean the price. And you can see it right there. Then I have to string all around, cutting all around. And now I, I am not going to cut them exactly to the edge. No, I will cut it half inch shorter, half inch in. Because I don't want uh, this to see it. Even I will put the carpet on top. That's what I will cut like half inch short. That uh, heat shield. On the, on the all around the edges, I haven't cut it. It is long. And now I am cutting. See, I will cut it right there, and I am cutting like half inch short. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. See, I cut all around already, and I put the insulation. So now, I'm going to start putting insulation right here, the bottom. So aquí va a llevar insolación. So right here I will put a different kind of insulation, but it's a good quality too. No, it's not a heat shield, uh, that kind of Dynamax, no. It's just a, ins a regular insulation for car, but it's a good quality. That's the kind that I will put them on right here. If you remember when I remove it, the insulation that I have right here is similar to this. But believe me, this is better than the one what he had before. And this is expensive too. I will put the glue on this uh, part too. And I will trim. I will make it fit this uh, insulation because I cut it a little bit big. And you can see now I had the carpet on there. And I going to, in case if there is any hole for the seat belt, 
make sure to cut those holes on the insulation. That way, when you are putting the seat belt, you will not have a like, hard time trying to find and find the hole. And I put an insulation on both parts. I put an insulation on the back. So I will start uh, putting the carpet. And the first piece that I will put is this one, the big one. And I will put banding all around. I'm going to show you or give you an idea how you can put banding on it. But uh, to do this, you have to know the basics about how to sew and how to use the sewing machine. And for uh, sewing this kind of carpet, you have to have like an industrial uh, upholstery machine. And that's the banding that I will use. This will take time. See, I will put that banding all on the top, then on the side. On the bottom, I am not going to put nothing on the bottom, but I will put banding, banding on the bottom piece. And I am here, all ready to start sewing. This is the banding that I will use. Uh, they sell it like this, I didn't make it. Because it is better to buy it ready made. And I will start sewing. Like I said, to do this, you have to know the pace about how to use in the sewing machine. And the secret right here is to not pull the vinyl. Don't pull it. Just make sure to fold it by half or a little less than half. And make sure to that stitch going straight. If it that stitch it doesn't go in straight, it will look ugly and will look bad. And there are certain parts on the carpet that uh, nobody can see it, except if you go under the seat and you can see it. But uh, that doesn't mean that that part you're going to sew it, you're not going to do your best. No, do your best in all um, the carpet. Uh, all when you are sewing that banding, do your best. In case if the stitch is crooked, uh, I will unstitch it and I will replace that part uh, or the banding, uh, but I said to you, I said to you, if you sew in crooked and you don't want to replace it, you have to leave it like that. Look at right there. You can see it is straight and the stitch is clean. So try to do everything like this. And I am, I am not using a, a attachment for the banding. No, I am doing everything manual. And you are seeing right there. A lot of people ask me, how can you sew the banding so straight? What kind of attachment are you using? And you can see, I am not using nothing. Not, I learned it this way. And I had those attachments for the banding. But I, I, not, I try not to use it. And some part those attachments help you a lot. Like a banding attachment help you a lot, a lot. But there are only a certain way how you can sew it uh, with the attachment. You see? I'm going to put banding all around, I mean all around that, on the side and on the top. And this carpet is especially for uh, Auro Mori, for Auro. This is not a carpet for both, both, no, this is only for Auro. The carpet for both, it has to be like a marine carpet. And right here, when you reach to that corner right there, you have to fold it. And then on the core, you have to make like a cut behind or under. See, I'm making those cuts. Because I want the banding to mold into the carpet. I don't want the carpet to mold into the um, vinyl. So I got this part already. Next, I have to put uh, glue, and then I will uh, start gluing on the car. See, you see those mark? See that banding look nice in there. I like it. I love it when that thing look like that. So I got it, that part right here. I already put some line. That's what you see like a different color. I will put glue. I sanded that piece already. And I will start applying glue on both sides. The car and the carpet. If you are doing something like this or similar, make sure to put a lot of glue on this part. A lot of glue. And 
and I will do all at one time. I haven't seen a lot of people, they do this part by, sec by section. They put glue on, let's say on 12 inches of the carpet, they glue that part, they put uh, glue on another 12 inches and they do that part, and they go a little by little. Uh, it's nothing wrong with that. Uh, this is all about technique and style. If it, they prefer working that way, that's fine. Uh, the only thing that I, I like is the, that last result. The last result, that's the most important thing. If it, they uh, do it in a different way, but uh, the last uh, result is uh, excellent, so there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. It's all about technique. I like to do it this way because I feel like it is faster. And to me, it is not hard, but for some people it is hard. That's why they do it a little by little. You see it's getting dark already. So I will bring the carpet and I will start uh, putting them out. First thing right here, make sure the carpet is on the right place. Make sure. Because if you, the carpet is not in the right place, it's not going to fit well. It will be shorter or longer on one side. See, I am not gluing nothing. I just put them in there and I will start gluing uh, when I am 100% the carpet is placing right. If you have to unglue it, I will unglue it. Make sure to put those mark uh, before you glue in all that part because if you forgot for any reason to mark it, later on will be like hard to find those holes. You don't want to make a hole where it's not uh, uh, in the right location. See there is the hole, put a mark on it. Uh, what is going on there? Well right there, what is uh, the top, the frame of the convertible top is going on that on those holes so and you see right there no wrinkle it's going fine so well and this you have to be plain this area right here And the bottom one, it is have a, like an extra carpet, but that's not a big deal. I will trim later. I will cut it. And I made it that way. I cut it longer, longer. It is better to cut longer. And then at the end, you can cut whatever extra it is or leftover it is. See, I made those cuts because I want the carpet to release the pressure in that area. That way, it can mold it to the frame of the car. And I am cutting right there. So this is looking nice. So so far it's looking nice, but right there is worrying me about it because I can see a big wrinkle on that uh, part right there, and I has to uh, make that wrinkle come out. First thing, because the glue is not dry at all, so I can unglue it right now. Soon as the glue dry, it's it, you can still unglue it, but it will be hard because sometimes. Uh, rest of the carpet uh, stick so strong that it doesn't want to come out. 
and you have to find a way how to unglue it. See, there is another hole, I put a mark on it. And that wrinkle is what I was worry me about it but seeing so far that it will come out remember this kind of carpet doesn't stretch at all eh? it's a cut pile carpet it's not a trunk lining it's not an all side carpet no it is a cut pile and it's a good quality cut pile so it so it doesn't stretch at all And you can see it right there how nice it's looking that part. And that part is this uh, back part is the hardest part of the whole uh, carpet of this car. The rest will take time, but no harder as this one. And this is the one where it's going on the bottom. I cut it by the old one. But do you remember the old one was like kind of long, the side? So right now I will correct this new one because I want this to fit perfectly in there. And to do that, I have to put them on the right place. Then, uh, Trace it. Whatever extra it is or whatever it doesn't fit well, I have to trim it. Like right there. You see, I am going to cut that part right there because it doesn't seem like it fit right. So I cut them right there. And same thing on the other side. So uh, I just went to the, uh, take it to a sewing machine and I put banding all around. I didn't show you how because uh, the process of sewing that banding is the same that I just did it on this uh, big piece right there that you can see right there. The process is the same. So that's what I decided not to show it. How to put banding on it. And here I have it. Plus I put that like a packet in there because the customer want to have like an access in there. There is something like I don't know if it is for the maintenance of the car or, or transmission oil or cylinder or something but the original was like that with that part on the center and i made this, this one same as the back the uh, same as the old one excuse me and it's dark now I'm going to make a cut right here 
this custom one has access to that part and you can see it right there and I have to make a special cut right there So I will put glue on that part. Okay, I got this part right now. And that area right there, that section of the car is done. So now I have to concentrate them on the rest of the this floor. And I will do the center part. That's the first part that I will do. And I am putting glue. I will put glue on both sides. I already put glue on this piece, carpet. When the carpet is not dry at all, you can unglue it easily. But as soon as the carpet dry, it will be like hard to unglue it. In case if you don't put it, uh, you put it crooked. Sometimes the carpet dries so much that uh, uh, the glue doesn't want to stick. You have to keep that on mind too. When you let the carpet with the glue for so long, uh, it won't stick. You have to put glue again.
and I got that side already. I had to do the driver's side, trim all the extra carpet in there. And some kind of car, that part has to have like an insulation. But on this car, it doesn't have an insulation. So that's what I end up putting in insulation. But in some car, it has to have an insulation in there. Right here, it's kind of hard because it's not like a, enough room to work with it. You can see me right there. I am behind the steering wheel and I am putting that carpet behind the gas pedal. That's the way it go original. And that part is done. So this has to put glue uh, on the front area. So right there will be a boot. You won't be able to see that part because it has to make a boot on it. And that boot, uh, I go. I am doing like original. So now I have to put this panel right here, and I am putting like exactly how like I was before. I just clean it up part and no wrinkle right here. Even the shape of this car right there is like kind of hard to work with carpet. But uh, in case if I need to put like like hard uh, air, I will. But that will be the last part. I put banding on the outside of the carpet. In the main part right here is make sure that uh, the outside look nice. Soon as you get the outside, uh, work with the rest of that carpet, but the outside first, because you don't know if it, the outside will look. Uh, if you start from the inside, then at the end the outside look ugly, and that's the first part when the customer open the door will see it. So I am putting, I am making that hole in there. That part is almost done. And you can see it right there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, on the driver's side, but I'm just going to show you one side. So now we're going to work on the outside.
and the main thing right here this part has to look uh, plain you don't want to see no wrinkle same thing like how it was but now it is a new carpet new insulation So I got the carpet right here and I put banding already all around. I didn't show you how to do it because I showed you the first part, the big one. I showed you how to put banding. That one I not showed you on this one. This one are a small part and not easy to put banding because they are a small. So I got this front part already. I got the, uh, the right and I got the, the left part. And you can see it right there. So now I have to make the center part of the floor. That's, that's next. And it's almost done. Almost done. I will make that part in two sections. Okay, I got that pattern right here for the bottom. I just had to trim. I cut it by the old carpet, but the old carpet wasn't fitting right. And I will make this part fit perfect in there. Original, this uh, a carpet is like this coming in a lot of pieces like like the ball back and beetle in a lot of pieces This kind of isolation, it is hard to carry. Okay, now I am going to um, cut this carpet. And I am going to make it on section. Before that was one piece and it looks so ugly because there is a metal across. And I'm going to make it on two pieces right there. Right there will be two pieces. And then uh, the way uh, how they adapt this seat to the uh, to this car, I don't know, but the seat they adapted that way, and I had to find a way how to make the bottom carpet, the f the floor match, to look nice. See, they made it one piece, and it doesn't look nice when I remove it. Like the way I make it, it's taking more time because it's gonna be on three pieces instead of one piece. That's it. Go on top of that carpet right there.
and this is the front carpet I have to trim it too I cut it by the old one but the old one doesn't look right so that's what I am trimming this carpet the seat going on top of there on that carpet and after this, after the carpet, when the seats are on, installed already, so I will make a floor match, but that will be the last part. So I got this uh, carpet. I have to take it to the sewing machine and put banding all around. I'm going to cut the driver's side like this because both sides are the same. Of course, before to cut it, I have to uh, make sure both sides are the same. So I got that carp, I got the back part, and I got this side already. So I put banding already. If you are just watching this video and you don't know how to put banding, just uh, uh, See the beginning of the video when I uh, put banding on the big piece. It is the same process. So I got that one. I have to make sure. Oh yeah, this this one. I put glue. And I put the uh, something behind the carpet because of that area I didn't put insulation because the seat barely fit on there. If I put a uh, insulation that area behind that under the seat the seat won't move back and forth so I got that air that part and look how nice it's looking compared to how it was before of course it was the old one plus the person who made it or maybe the guy buying on the from internet was so ugly So I got this carpet already. I have to do the other side. And I am putting a little bit of glue right there. Okay, I have to clean everything. I have to clean this carpet because I see a lot of glue and I see a lot of white thing, white spot. So I have to clean it, I have to put the seat, then I will show you uh, and I got that carpet, I got a uh, driver carpet and I'm going to do the same thing And there is the carpet almost done. This kind of carpet, it takes time to do it because have a lot of pieces and you have to cut and you have to take it to a sewing machine and banding all around. And it is time. But the most important thing is it, it doesn't matter how hard it was, how long it take it. At the end, look nice. And look right there. It is clean already. There's where the seat go. See the banding in there. It is time. And here is the packed thing. Now I just have to put the seat. This is a Porsche. I there are the seat. There is the back of the carpet. And there is the car. Like I said before, this is a replica. It is a kit. But this car still costs a lot of money. There is the top. 
that tap, that is the way you go. I put those snap in the tab because are original. It has to go original. All the way, if you don't make that car like original, lost a lot of money. Even that it is a kit, but the upholstery has to be like original. So everything is done, guys. So uh, there is the put in there. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, for those who who, uh, who don't speak English, I had this video in Spanish. That's what I am making on English now. And thank you. See you in the next video.